Hello Sharks and welcome to your mid-November weekly hybrid learning update. This is the start of week eight in our hybrid learning model and I have to say that we are all very pleased with the academic, social, and spiritual development of our students. Everyone is adapting nicely to the COVID safety protocols and each is becoming more and more a part of everyday life now. I am at school today preparing for our mini in-person open house. Tomorrow you will have our virtual open house. Please continue to share your positive experiences with your family and friends as we move into the recruiting and admission season, the annual fund and day of online giving season, and of course, the holiday season. Thank you to Mrs. Lamus and her adult and student admissions team for all of their hard work. And now, this last week's schedule just before Thanksgiving break. All are very much looking forward to our break after this week. Monday, November 16th, we have tutorial in the morning in periods one through four. The after-school program begins this Monday, the 16th. All students waiting for after-school sports or waiting inside the school for a ride home will have to check into the gym. Our new response to intervention, RTI coordinator, Mr. Terry Poole, will greet you and help manage the accomplishment of homework or studying until sports start or until your ride comes. Tuesday, November 17th, tutorial in the morning in periods five through seven. Students will have an early dismissal that day, and we will also have the after-school program going while students are wearing, waiting for sports or waiting for van rides home. Wednesday, November 18th, we welcome the entire junior class back for their junior retreat, junior ASB lunch, mass, and school ID photos. Juniors must wear the appropriate sweater or a letterman jacket and a white dress shirt for the pictures. You can change into your shark wear after you take your ID photo. Thursday, November 19th, tutorial, periods one through four, and again, the after-school program will be offered. Friday, November 20th, tutorial in the morning, in periods five through seven. Again, we will have the after-school program on this last Friday before Thanksgiving break. There will be no school November 23rd through 27th. The school will be closed for a much-deserved Thanksgiving break. And now, Sharks, some updates. This last week, Santa Cruz County moved backwards from the orange tier to the red tier. This does not affect whether we stay open or not. Even if, God forbid, Santa Cruz goes back to purple, because we are already open, we will be able to stay open as long as we stay below the 5% threshold. To help us all stay safe and stay far away from this threshold, I want to reference the state's announcement this last Friday the 13th. California and other surrounding states issued a virus travel advisory. So I want to review it and our school's COVID safety policy for this Thanksgiving and Christmas seasons. Number one, avoid all non-essential out-of-state and out-of-country travel. If you do travel out-of-state or out-of-the-country, we ask you to self-quarantine for 14 days upon your return. After 14 days on distance learning, and with no symptoms, your student can return to St. Francis. To expedite your return to school, you can have your student take a COVID test. Stay at home until you get the negative results, then you can bring those results with you upon your student's return. The challenge, as you know, is that if you travel out of state or out of the country, your student could be forced to quarantine the last two weeks of regular school before the semester finals. This may add an extra layer of stress to your student as a result of your travel. So think before you travel, Sharks. I know there are big dreams of playing baseball or softball, volleyball or soccer at the collegiate level. So some have been traveling to play these games or tournaments, but getting your student sick or your family members sick because you, the parent, want your student to play in a tournament and get what you think will be a scholarship is dangerous in this time period. So please don't do it. I know your student athletes coach might tell you otherwise, but after 32 years of high school teaching, coaching, and leading, as well as working with a variety of students and their parents to get them to the next level, I can say with 100% confidence that smartly missing these tournaments between now and New Year's is the smartest and safest decision you can make as a parent. Don't jeopardize your families or our St. Francis community's health. If you go and tell us that your student is sick, 
will still make you self-quarantine for 14 days or get COVID test results. Sharks, when we come back from Thanksgiving break, you will only have seven classes before semester finals. It sounds like a lot, but it isn't, Sharks. So stay focused. D-Y-H, do your homework, whether you like it or not. Show up for morning tutorial and meet your teachers during Wednesday office hours. And Sharks, if you have any missing homework, make it up over Thanksgiving break. Just get it done. Don't settle for average grades. You're at a college prep school with caring teachers who want you to learn and succeed. So just do it. Also, we just sent out in the last two weeks our annual fun letter. This week coming up, we will mail a save the date card for the worldwide online day of giving, Giving Tuesday on December 1st. This is our school-wide class competition. The first is the total amount of gifts from each family at each grade level from now through Easter in 2021. The second is the number of gifts given by each family only on December 1st. If you have students in multiple grades, your one gift counts for each grade level's giving. Help your students' class win this competition. We're not just talking about dress and food, but extra time off. So help us achieve our goals. We are proud to say that we have a rich heritage of 100% board and faculty and staff giving. We have yet to hit that mark for our parent giving. Your giving, whether it is $1 or $1 million, counts for both competitions, and 100% of your giving goes to all student programs and services this year. As you saw in last year's annual report, we do not charge the actual cost to educate a student. The tuition break every student gets is $1,642 off the actual price. This means for a school of 214 students, we have to fundraise over $351,000. As you can see, we all benefit and we all need to help the school make up the gap between what we charge and what it actually costs. Do your part to retain these great teachers, these great coaches, and these great programs and services for all students. Finally, our after school sports program is continuing and we hope to have an announcement from the state about sports this week. Whether it is this week coming up or the week of Thanksgiving break, when we know we will immediately share it with you. Until then, we ask you and your students to continue to participate in the after school sports program, not just for their physical health, but for their emotional health as well. Finally, there will not be a weekly update during the break, so I will wish all of you a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Take care, God bless, and go Sharks.